Last summer, Ford lent me an electric vehicle for the week so that I could test it out, make a vlog of my experience, which I did and it was awesome and it was fun to drive. It's winter, two feet of snow outside, minus 21, and I have an idea of something that I wanna try, but it requires something a little bigger than an electric vehicle. It requires a Ford F-150. <clears throat> And apparently they're giving me like the fully decked out F-150. It retails for like $87,000 or something. Not only is this gonna be my first time driving an F-150, I think this is gonna be the most expensive car that I'm ever gonna have driven in my life. Should be a fun week. Let's see it. <laughs> beautiful. Just beautiful. How cold is it today? They just washed it. And there are icicles on the front already. The F-150 Platinum. <laughs> Blind spot uh, indicator right here. Like a tiny, yeah. tiny little uh, that, yellow light that will appear. That side view mirror is about the size of my car's windshield. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> when you open it up, uh, you have a little automatic support. And once you close it, it'll automatically... Okay, we're making entry. Stepping on the step stool, very nice, very convenient. Oh. It should be super comfortable. Oh man, oh man, okay. So there, is. this is an entire car. Oh, it's it's huge. Holy cow! Here. You can fit the entire car, two dogs, and still have the flatbed open. Whew, I may be getting a pickup truck. It smells so good. It smells so much better than my disgusting, filthy cesspool of a car. This truck is incredible. I may be in love with a pickup truck. I'm gonna go over the features later when I pick up my daughter from school so that I don't do them twice. But look at that sunroof. Look at that sunroof! It feels like I'm flying. It's got a heated steering wheel. It's got air conditioned seats right there. Air conditioned seats. It's got 10 gears. I don't know how many gears I need. I probably need two, including reverse. Oh, speaking of reverse, it's got assisted parallel parking. We're gonna see how that works with the kid. Okay, I've started covering too many features. I'll be back when I get my kids from school. Booyah. Oh yeah, and because I'm driving a pickup truck. Now I love Metallica too. Oh God, the sun is so bright. We just parked, look at the camera on this thing. It gives you an aerial view of the car. The back part gives you an amazing view. Look at the, look at that, I don't even need the camera. I can see through this car. Next stop, picking up my daughter and her best friend, and they're gonna when they see this. Ah yes, I nearly forgot. There we go, bring in the side view mirror so that nobody clips it. Booyah! This is traffic mayhem, by the way. Mayhem. Just traffic, traffic, there's public works, traffic, traffic. David? Yes? My, my cousin, I have mm -hmm. a friend, and on pickup, he was slip, he slipped on ice, had a major concussion, and, oh, really? put in, and doesn't, didn't remember his name. That's a fantastic story. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I've got a surprise for you. What? Uh, I bet it's a new drum. No, why don't you turn your head around? <gasps> just for a week. Did you just ask to sit in the back? Yes! yes. Of the flatbed? Yeah! Don't you know anything about municipal regulations and the highway safety code? What's wrong with you? Why is Jake gonna get a seat? Hold on, I gotta bring this to my parents' place. I, Wait, so I gotta bring them back their newspaper. Oh, by sandals. the way, I was in uh, recently featured in the Montreal Gazette in an article about YouTubers. You, <laughs> Quebec YouTubers Stars? Yes, yeah, backwards what I'm gonna get. Uploading their lives. Who's uploading their lives? I'm just uploading, you know, stories from... Look at this traffic! Except it's a joy being stuck in traffic. Oh yeah. Maroon 5. No, thank you. We are at the portion of the video where we are putting on the tailgate art on the tailgate of the Ford F-150. We're at RAP Montreal or RAP MTL. We're gonna show the installation process and then we're gonna start driving around and see. Look at this store, by the way.
Okay, so the prep. The prep is the most important part. So dry and clean. Dry and clean is the key. Uh, yeah. Usually uh, in a truck we would remove all the badges. Uh, yeah, but in this case, it, it's this is a loaner from Ford, so we're going to leave it intact. Yeah, leave it intact. <laughs> this has to this has to go back in better condition than I got it. Yeah. <laughs> so. Time lap begins in three, two, one. beautiful this is thank you very thank much, you very much Eric. magnificent okay and this is the most dangerous part of the whole journey this truck is going through that little window okay guide me through thank you very much again no problem just keep going straight okay i'll guide you from the back go straight Not much room to spare. Okay, Eric, thank you very much. See you soon. Bye-bye. Woo! <laughs> that was a tight squeeze. All right, apparently the Ford F-150 has a, let's get in here, a self-parking feature. Push this button and the car will parallel park itself. I haven't been able to find proper situation under which to test this feature out, but I have finally found the perfect place to try in the spot that I was just parked in. <laughs> Put it in drive, push the button here, and it's gonna tell us, searching for parking, drive forward. Okay, drive forward. That's the parking spot we want right there. All right. Parallel park. Should, oh, okay, spot found. Good, do what I do, push that. Okay, now, drive forward. Drive forward. Okay. Spot found, release steering wheel, shift into reverse. Okay, back up. Be prepared to stop. <laughs> I'm very nervous. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Okay, okay. Look at this. Look. Okay, now I'm stopping. Okay, back up. Be prepared to stop. Okay, what, what happens now? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, be prepared to stop. Oh, I tell, it's telling me what I should do. Okay, I'm gonna go forward. Be prepared to stop. Shift into reverse. Oh my goodness this is the cool okay now it says be finished oh my god i need this truck i need this truck Ethan, do you like this car? You guys want to see something amazing? I'm going to parallel park without using my hands. You ready? How cool is that?
was this? That's right. Okay, come, come, come. Check it out. Check it out. There's a moose in the back of that A head moose truck. on the loose. Uh, I'm gonna need to pull out or you're gonna crawl over the seat. Yeah. You need assistance getting into the car. Oh, thank you. Am I sitting in the back seat? Wait until you see how this thing drives, by the way. Don't step on the seats, it's leather. It's beautiful leather. Very nice, <laughs> nice, very flexible. I'm Let's just I'm get stuck. <laughs> don't get the don't get the boots. Okay. How do you feel about those seats? Good. Got a lot of room back there. I love the way the sticker looks on the back of a car, but this tailgate might be a little too beautiful to cover up with a tailgate decal. That's beautiful. What do you think? High Alright, so that took 21 minutes uh, in cold weather in the winter. Absolutely not a trace left over anywhere in the cracks on the tailgate itself. Goodbye, we, have, we have to say goodbye to the pickup truck. Nobody's in it right now. Do we give it a kiss goodbye? Um, um, oh, okay. One, two, three. Oh, now you want to go back in the back. Okay, one, two, three, up. Okay, play. Enjoy it for the last day we have it. I haven't done an actual review and I figure I probably should. Again, this is not a paid review. I drive a Ford Explorer anyhow, so I kind of feel good being able to do this. Close the windows while we do the review, and then you can roll them up afterwards. This truck is objectively... Meters, turn left onto Rusher Road West. This truck is objectively amazing. It drives like a tank, like you could roll over anything, drive over snowbanks, park in anything. The step stool that comes out... Turn left out, onto Rusher Road West, Quebec 138 okay. West. The step stool that comes out when you open the door is totally cool. The heated steering wheel is beautiful. How do you find the seats back there? Amazing. The console is relatively oh, the console is relatively intuitive, easy to use. The acceleration is amazing. The self parking function is totally mind blowing. It had our kid thinking there was a ghost in the car. Lila. The only pitfalls are it's a very big car, bad turning radius, but it's a pickup truck. That's what it is. Uh, tough to park. A little tough to navigate in uh, narrow situations. I feel good in this truck. I feel like I belong in a pickup truck. I feel comfortable in this car like it represents a certain aspect of my identity, which is weird because we've only known each other a week. Anyhow, Ford, thank you very much. Um, I don't want to go back to my Explorer. <laughs> it smells bad in there. It smells like, it smells bad. I know it does. Do you know why it does? Because you eat in the car, the dog pees in the car, the sticky... Oh yeah, and... Sticky goo on it. And there's, there, were, there were rotten minnows in the car. Okay, that's it. Peace out. Booyah.